Get out. What's happened? This is You are on property. camera. I don't care. Get what out. has happened? What's forced out. to close of this Please facility? Get out. Get out. What's forced Go. to close? A Kansas City nursing home is on the brink of shutting down tonight. And when Fox 4 showed up to ask questions about why, we were locked out. So new at 6 o'clock tonight, Fox 4's cameras were rolling when the last residents of Timberlake Care Center in South Kansas City were displaced. Just last month, the Missouri Attorney General filed a petition in court saying the center had, quote, financial incapacity and a staffing emergency. Fox 4's Malik Jackson is at that center in South Kansas City. Malik, the state claims ownership was not paying their staff. Yeah, the inability to pay workers here at this care center was the genesis of the problem. Workers literally going to cast their checks and the funds weren't there. That led to the chief nurse resigning. And today, weeks ahead of the deadline, Fox 4 was here as the more than 70 patients, the last of them, were willed away. Get out. Get out. What's forced Go, to close get out. here at any moment? When Fox 4 arrived at Timberlake Care Center to get its side of the story, we were not welcome. The facility staring down what appears to be its final days operating. Very devastating. I live here, so it, it you know, it uh, kind of messes up everything. You know, you got you have the stress of, of uh, going to a new place and worrying about your medical, your appointments and all that kind of stuff. They've left people like Jared Hulk in quite the predicament. It's a big deal going from place to homes, you know. Like this. this petition filed in Jackson County Circuit Court, the AG's office alleges the owner owes more than $3 million in a loan agreement that has not been honored. This filing would go on to lay out the issues with payroll, saying the department was informed that staff members' paychecks were being returned, prompting fears employees would resign. We've learned the chief nurse did just that. The AG near the end of this petition made it clear the danger this facility being open presented, saying, quote, noncompliance has placed the health and safety of recipients in its care at risk for serious injury, serious harm, serious impairment, or death. Really unsettling because, you know, the uncertainty, not knowing what's going to happen, you know, uh, there's some employees like back in Dallas who don't even know where they're going and uh, it's their last days. Now, it's also important to note the owners of this facility also own Hidden Lake Care Facility in Raytown. That place has to close on or before May 26th. That, according to court records, of course, Fox 4 will follow that. I also want to mention that the dialysis center that sits on this property just to the right is a separate entity. So if patients still need to go there, the treatment there will continue. Lauren.